Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. My name is Gloria and I'm a freshman at Andover. So I have been getting recently um, a lot of requests to do a stats video. So that's what I'm here for today. I will be referring to my computer for information. And just a disclaimer that I haven't touched my gateway account in nearly one year. So it has been expired and deleted. Um, I will be talking from the top of my head. So let's hope that I remember all the information that I filled out last year. All right, without further ado, let's go on with the video. All right, to start us off, um, last year I applied to 10 boarding schools, so hold on. Um, I applied to Andover, Exeter, Groton, Milton, NMH, BBNN, Deerfield, Middlesex, St. Mark's, and Concord. I got accepted into Andover, NMH, Concord, BBNN, and St. Mark's, and I got um, waitlisted into Exeter, Groton, Milton, Deerfield, and Middlesex. So I didn't get any rejections last year. They were all either acceptances or waitlists. So for the number section that I suppose we'll be starting out with, um, I had a 2310 for my SAT in that it overall was a 98 percentile. I had a 99 percentile in the vocab section and a 99 percentile in the math and a 96 percentile in the reading. For my grades, from grades 6 to 8, I had mostly A pluses that were above 98 average and some A's that were above 95. Five average. All right, so for extracurriculars, um, I am a music person, so I've been playing the piano for 10 years and the violin for almost five. I sing as well, and I also play the guitar. Um, and alongside that, I'm also the youngest member, or I used to be, because I'm not anymore since I'm now in Andover, um, but I used to be the youngest member of our local symphony, local youth, youth symphony, um, and I made it in at the age of 12 as a violinist. Uh, for sports, I used to swim competitively at a local swim team, um, and I also did ballet as hobby, but after I moved to the U.S., I did not continue any of them because of, like, a lack of time, but also, and more importantly, I couldn't find any teachers or swim teams um, that fit me. Uh, for art, I'm not really an art person, I don't like art that much, but I did make a sculpture, a life-size sculpture last year, and, and I will like put it up right here, that I thought it would be nice to include in my application, and so I did. And also for community projects, um, I, alongside my cousin, we founded this ensemble called Aqua Duet, and it's just the two of us, um, where we go to local children hospitals, and we play music for them, and in hopes to like bring some joy into life, and also um, maybe even foster their interest in music. For my extracurriculars, um, we had a very limited amount of resources and organizations and things we could participate in in my middle school. I tried to use the resources as best as I could. So at the end, I joined Youth Legislature, um, which is a student and government project where it's similar to Model UN, except it's restricted to your state. And I did that for two years. Um, I also did math team, which I actually did not I didn't volunteer to join it, but the teachers scouted me and I thought, oh well, why not join it? Um, also Quiz Bowl, which is a trivia club where you just collect random fun facts and you remember them and you like compete in competitions in hopes that you'll win a reward. Um, for my words, which is going to be the last section of this video, I'm not sure how I'm going to organize this because it's kind of long, but um, I will probably start with music. So I've won a series of piano awards back in China and also over here in the US, and I've won competitions in first and second place as well. Um, I've gotten like ABRSM grade 5 theory, music theory, and I passed with distinction. Um, ABRSM grade 7 for piano and ABRSM grade 8 for piano, and I passed with merit. Um, for writing, I've gotten various writing awards. So an example is the financial literacy contest that we had over here in the States and also essay contests and etc. Um, for math team, I competed in state competitions individually every year that I was in the US. I joined math competitions with the rest of our team and we won awards. Um, for Youth Ledge, for the two years that I joined it, I got two outstanding bow awards every year. Um, and for Quiz Bowl, I had placed in the top 20 individual during competition. I also participated in the National French exam because I take French in school, and I got the silver award for that. And just a random fact, but I'm bilingual. I speak Chinese and English both fluently. 
All right, that is it for the video today. I hope it helped you. I hope it will help you. I hope it will help other people in the future. That was a lot of rambling. Leave suggestions and comments in the comment section down below so I have an idea as to what to film next time. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.